Iron Squid's first group is down, and I have Callum here to tell me. Uh, we talked about this before, about Iron Squid getting their groups together and all that stuff and making announcements and whatnot. And so here we are a couple weeks later with a bit of an update. What do you have? Well, basically, Group A has been finished. And as you said, yeah, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, about this is going to be an amazing tournament. And so far, we've had Group A, and it's been, it's been amazing. Because if you just put it this way, Group A had Marine King, Puma, Rhett, Boxer, and Todd. That's just a stacked lineup, and it turned to be one hell of a group. We had Marine King completely dominate it all. He went 4-0, so he advanced. Nice. But the next place, but went down to Rhett, Puma, and Boxer, and there was one game that separated them. It actually went down to a tiebreaker between Puma and Boxer to see who would advance. That's how close this this group became. And it basically came down, and then, oh, this was... It was one hell of a match. It got separated by just this one winning game, Puma Advance, and so far, I've got to say that the Group A was amazing matches. Yeah, yeah. Is this, and, um, is this, I mean, how would you rank this as far as, like, your your top, like, your, your top experiences in, 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 in esports as far as this, because you, because we talked about this before, and you were pretty stoked on some of the situations that happened during this whole event. Well, yeah, if you look, the fact that they've got this lineup already, that, that just blew it for me already. If you just look at all of the names that they've got, that was already putting out there in some of the, the best tournaments I've seen. Mm -hmm. But their production value is actually astounding. It's like, it's really, really good. If you watch some of their things, it's it's really good. You look at their site, the only problems that I have is that they release VODs loads, loads later than they should do. It's like they're not up straight away. They wait until the group's completed then they release their videos. That's a little bit annoying, but the production value itself is actually really good. And I cannot wait to see them because bear in mind, this has all been an offline tournament so far. It's like everything has been done from replays. They give it to the French casters, they give it to the English casters. And this is all going to um, culminate in the fact that it's going to be coming this live tournament in France. I cannot wait for this. It's going to be amazing. Nice. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right about the, uh, you know, I, I've seen, I don't, I, I may not watch it as religiously as you do, but I definitely pay attention to aesthetics and stuff. And uh, they do have, they do have a pretty clean interface. This is what it is. It's not a little, little it's not over the top uh, with crazy graphics and logos and overlays and heartbeat monitors and, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and like, you know, face cams and all that stuff. I mean, it's, it's it's actually just just enough uh, where it does it's not obtrusive and it's not distracting. It keeps the focus on the actual game itself, which is important. Yeah, because this is this is the way that offline tournaments should have been. Because we can look back at the NASL and everyone just looks back at the NASL and just thinks, Ugh, just because of how bad the NASL was. And Iron Squid are kind of showing them how it should be done. I mean, yeah, they've had a lot of things to look back on and like, okay, this is how it should be done. This is how it shouldn't be done. But they're doing this in the massive group stages, just like the NASL was. It's going to culminate in a live event, just as the NASL was. And Iron Squid are just basically blowing it out of the water so far. It depends how it's going to go. They could have an absolutely terrible live event. They could, something could come down that's going to make this completely bad. But so far, this has been a pretty good tournament. And I can't wait for Group B to come along. All right. All right anything else, Callum? Well, Group B, which is the next um, group in the way, is amazing everyone's got to watch out for this if i just want to list off the names this is going to be the best group i've ever seen in the history of anything you've got <laughs> idra for zane mc mvp and symbol that's just incredible just those names in one tournament i cannot wait for this to complete <laughs> all right Callum's getting all giddy on me <laughs> oh this is gonna be amazing <laughs> All right, thank you very much, sir. And be sure to stay tuned to GameBreaker.tv for more StarCraft 2 news, especially 8 p.m. from Lore. I don't think we're going to have an episode this week because he's actually out of town, but more than likely next week we're going to see another episode from him, probably covering some of the stuff you're going to see from this tournament. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys later.